Joby Aviation has just announced their Q3 results and investors are eager to know what the numbers say, so keep watching for the next 10 minutes as we break down the entire report. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel $1 World for regular Joby stock updates. Joby Aviation, a prominent U.S. aircraft developer, has reached a significant milestone on its path to launching commercial air taxi operations by 2025. In the third quarter of this year, the company reported breaking even and generating $1.5 million in revenues, which is a remarkable turnaround from the $79 million loss it experienced during the same period last year. This favorable outcome can be attributed primarily to a gain in the revaluation of derivative liabilities amounting to $160 million and interest income of $13.6 million. Joby Aviation has been making substantial investments in research and development, allocating $101 million to these efforts in the third quarter alone. The company's primary focus is on obtaining certification for its electric vertical takeoff and landing, or eVTOL, vehicle. Despite reporting a loss of $398 million in the first nine months of 2023, Joby remains in a robust financial position and boasts one of the strongest balance sheets in the industry, with approximately $1.1 billion in cash and short-term investments. During the third quarter, Joby made significant progress by launching a flight testing program with pilots on board. They achieved essential maneuvers, including hovering, tracking runway center lines, and executing vertical landings. CEO Joe Ben Bevert emphasized that their eVTOL aircraft enables pilots to perform more intricate maneuvers, such as flying precise circles around a central point, which is notably simpler compared to traditional helicopters. In a noteworthy achievement, Joby delivered the first of nine aircraft to the U.S. Air Force or USAF as part of its $131 million Agility Prime contract. These aircraft will be used to demonstrate various logistics missions, including cargo and passenger transportation. Furthermore, by early 2024, Joby plans to deliver three more aircraft to Edwards AFB to enhance operational and training experiences for both Joby and USAF personnel. The company has also made significant progress in its certification journey. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has accepted Joby's certification plans for its batteries and high-voltage power distribution system, bringing the company closer to final certification. Joby is now entering the fourth stage of the process, which involves planning and executing certification tests for its batteries and high-voltage systems. Looking forward, Joby has unveiled plans to build a manufacturing facility in Dayton, Ohio, where it has been offered up to $325 million in state and local incentives. The facility, situated at the Dayton International Airport, will not only support the production of up to 500 aircraft each year, but also provide space for potential future expansion. Joby Aviation has also announced the successful completion of a series of flight tests in the third quarter of 2023. These tests took place in Barina, California, with four different pilots on board, showcasing the aircraft's maneuverability and its ability to perform various flight operations. These flight tests highlighted the aircraft's capability to perform maneuvers necessary for routine operations. Among the maneuvers demonstrated were forward transitions to semi-thrust-borne flight, illustrating the aircraft's versatility and high-performance capabilities. In addition to the successful flight tests, Joby achieved significant milestones during the third quarter. The company's certification progress is nearing completion, with 84% of the certification plans approved by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. This includes the acceptance of the Energy Storage and Distribution System Plan, which covers battery and high-voltage power distribution. Furthermore, Joby delivered its first electric air taxi to the U.S. Air Force several months ahead of schedule as part of a $131 million contract with the Department of Defense. This delivery underscores the efficiency and effectiveness of Joby's aircraft in meeting the needs of various industries. Looking ahead, Joby is actively producing three aircraft at its pilot production facility in Marina. Moreover, the company has selected Dayton, Ohio as the location for its first scale manufacturing facility. Joby's expansion plans have garnered substantial support from state and local agencies, with incentives and benefits amounting up to $325 million. From a financial perspective, Joby remains well positioned, with $1.1 billion in cash and short term investments at the end of the third quarter. This strong financial foundation provides the company with the necessary resources to sustain its operations and drive innovation within the industry. As Joby Aviation continues to advance in the development of all-electric aircraft, the company maintains its focus on creating a fast, quiet, and convenient transportation service in cities worldwide. Through its commitment to technological advancements and adherence to regulatory standards, Joby aims to revolutionize urban air mobility and contribute to a sustainable future. Enjoying the video so far? Be sure to join our Discord community to connect with other like-minded investors. Let's talk about Joby Stock. Joby Aviation Inc., or Joby, a forward-thinking player in the electric aviation industry, is currently trading at $5.37 per share, with a market capitalization of $3.66 billion. 
The stock has seen a trading volume of 3,788,439 shares and had a day's range between $5.08 and $5.32, with a 52-week range spanning from $3.15 to $11.98. The company's open and close prices for the day were $5.30 and $5.15 respectively, while the previous close also stood at $5.15. Joby Aviation exhibits a beta of 1.72, reflecting its higher volatility compared to the overall market. The stock currently has a significant short interest, with 63.11 million shares, accounting for 16.62% of its float. The average trading volume is around 5.29 million shares. In terms of financial metrics, Joby Aviation has reported an earnings per share or EPS of negative 88 cents in the trailing 12 months or TTM. Looking forward, the forward price to earnings ratio or NTM is 7.19, indicating optimism about the company's future profitability. However, the company has reported a negative EBITDA of negative $386.689 million in the TMM and a return on equity, a row of negative 47.17%, underscoring its early stage development and investment heavy operations. Remarkably, Joby Aviation is yet to generate revenue, as indicated by a TMM revenue and gross margin of zero. The company holds a debt to equity ratio or MRQ of 1.03, suggesting a moderate level of financial leverage. In recent news, Joby Aviation reported its third quarter 2023 results, further solidifying its position in the electric aviation industry. Additionally, the company garnered attention when a stock surged following FAA approval. Analyst sentiment toward Joby is mixed, with buy ratings from seven analysts, hold ratings from five, and sell ratings from three. The consensus price target for Joby's stock stands at $8.50. Joby Aviation is a pre-revenue company that is developing all-electric aircraft for future commercial passenger service, with significant backing from investors and key partnerships, including Toyota and Uber. The company is poised to make a substantial impact in the industry. Joby Aviation is expected to initiate commercial operations in 2024, making it an intriguing player in the evolving landscape of electric aviation. On the other hand, Joby has recently attracted attention from Wall Street analysts. The consensus price target for Joby shares is $8.40 per share, with the current Wall Street consensus rate of 2.67, indicating a strong buy recommendation. However, it's essential to consider various factors impacting the company's performance. JP Morgan maintains an underweight assessment of Joby's shares since July 19, 2023 offering a pessimistic outlook from a major financial institution, which may raise concerns for potential investors. In terms of recent trading performance, Joby's stock has experienced a downturn declining by negative 9.49% in the last week, negative 20.16% over the past four weeks, and negative 17.05% in the last six months, despite a 12.20% increase in the past year. This volatility suggests increased risk in investing in Joby. Technical indicators like the Relative Strength Index or RSI indicate an oversold condition, with an RSI of 28.13 over the last two weeks, possibly hinting at a potential rebound, but this should be considered alongside broader market and company fundamentals. Moving averages provide insight into the stock's performance, with Joby's 50-day moving average 6.56, indicating a short-term decline, and the 200-day moving average at 5.94, helping assess long-term trends. Fundamental analysis reveals concerning financial metrics. Joby has negative return on total capital at negative 31.24, return on investor capital at negative 20.59, return on equity at negative 20.80, and return on assets at negative 18.56, indicating current profitability challenges. The company's capital structure is another concern, with a relatively high total debt-to-total -total equity ratio of 2.35, indicating a significant debt burden. Efficacy is questionable, with an average of negative $181,465 per employee. But liquidity ratios, quick ratio and current ratio, are healthy at 27.78, showing ample short-term assets to cover liabilities. Earnings per share or EPS growth is expected to decline, with a predicted 5-year EPS growth rate of negative 11.81%. Institutional ownership is notable, with top three holders being Vanguard Group Inc. at 8.26%, BlackRock Inc. at $201.66 billion, and Berkshire Hathaway Inc. at 5.80%. This substantial institutional ownership can influence the stock's trading dynamics and reflects the interest of large investors in the company. Remember that this is not financial advice and you should always do your own research and make informed investment decisions. That was all for today. Let us know if you think the stock will make you rich or not in the comment section. Hit like and subscribe to our channel, $1 World, for more such penny stock videos, and we will see you in the next one.